You know, it's hard to believe. School starts in I just a can't few weeks. I can't believe it. You know? I can't believe it. Here's something that's a little interesting. A Maryland school district will be one of only four in the nation to use special software to actually track students' social media posts. Right. The program is called Social Sentinel, and it monitors sites like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And the idea here is to keep students safe. Fox Eyes' Lauren DeMarco has more. The classrooms may be empty for now, but in less than two weeks, these hallways are going to begin filling up with students. And this year in Washington County, Maryland, for the first time, if a student pulls out one of these to post on social media, they're going to be very closely monitored. We've seen a rise in cyberbullying. We've seen a, a rise in the use of social media uh, in general but oftentimes in inappropriate ways. So we thought that because that's where kids are, that's where we need to go as a school system. Starting this school year, any public post to a social media site on school grounds in Washington County, Maryland, will be run through a new system and checked for certain flag words. In the wake of all of the school violence, the one thing that we know is that parents highest desire for us is to make sure that when we have their children that those kids are safe in our care. We have these throughout the building. Superintendent Clayton Wilcox showed us how the program so works. I posted an innocent tweet containing the word bomb. My tweet was immediately flagged and he was able to pull up my location and profile. This is how we would do a mashup to determine whether you were a credible threat because if all of a sudden here was like kill, maim, hurt, then we would know, uh oh, we better take this a little more seriously. The service can't monitor emails or texts, and if your social media account is private, your posts don't show up. Washington County is one of the first school systems in the nation to monitor digital conversations, but Wilcox says there are plenty of private companies already doing it as a marketing tool. Some of these companies who are actually monitoring school campuses, and the reason they're doing that is because they want to see what's hot, what's new, what's trending, um, and then they can sell part of that database to you know various industry groups. Wilcox is sending out a letter to parents explaining the service and asking for students to join a committee to help keep officials abreast of the latest lingo. Reaction so far seems mixed. Yeah, I think I think it is something that I I'm not sure exactly how I feel about yet. Well, my gut reaction is, you know, we're moving into a new Orwellian society, but at the same time, you know, a lot of electronic devices they're not even supposed to be using during the school day. Uh, and so if they're using them at the end of the day, they kind of become almost the public property of what you're posting at that point. If we have this technology, we don't use it and something happens and then we say, why didn't we do what we could have done? Officials say for now they only plan to monitor high school and middle school campuses. In Boonesboro, Maryland, Lauren DeMarco, Fox 5 Local News.